This is half inch PEX tubing from the hardware store. And I cut it to five and a half inches on the bandsaw. Then you get two eight inch zip ties. You run them through opposite directions around the wires and you cinch them down. I, I like to do 16 inch spacing. It's just 16 on center for studs. Might as well do it for ladder line. And it makes it look very consistent. Makes it look very consistent down the line. This is a zip tie gun. Cinches them down, snips them off. Um, this was my dad's. I don't know where he got it. It's made in Japan, but it's probably the best zip tie gun I've ever had or seen or used. And that's the brand. Made in Japan. As you can see, it's been uh, used pretty well. And it's all metal. It's not those plastic junk ones.
out of zip ties. So this is all I have left. So I'll have to get some more at the store. But honestly, I don't know if I'll need too much more ladder line. I'm gonna take it up and run it up the tower and see what how much more I need, if any at all. And we'll go from there. I have about I'd say probably 120 feet of wire for ladder line, but I think I only need like maybe 50. Probably not even that. My tower is only it's only 35 feet to the support point, and uh, the tower is only about 15 feet from the house. So. But this antenna, I've been, I've had this antenna and the stuff to make it for probably, I don't know, a year and a half. <laughs> Just now getting it. This will probably be the third ladder line antenna that I made this way. And, uh, it's, um, probably the most affordable, cost effective way of doing it. <laughs> 